Okay, let's talk about scaling of images. Now CSS has a property called image rendering and you can apply this to any image or picture that you put on your web pages and basically you're giving guidance to the browser on how it's going to scale the image up or scale the image down. Now scaling down is not as big of an issue but scaling up, well you're talking about any CSI police show that you've ever watched where the guy is staring at his computer and says enhance and magically they get this close-up image that's picture perfect or close to picture perfect of somebody's license plate or something like that. Well that's not the real world but we do have a little bit of control over some images. Now I've got a sample page here and what I'm doing is I'm taking this image from Pixum and I've placed it here at the original size, so it's 150 pixels by 150 pixels. And down here, I've put it into another container, and I've scaled it up so that it's taking up 150% the width of the screen. And I've got three images. This is the auto, so this one is left up to the browser. And then I've got one using the property for crisp edges or sorry, image rendering value, crisp edges, and another one with pixelated. And I've attached it to the hover event so that we can see the difference. So this first one, there's no change at all. The second one, in Chrome, I don't see a difference when I'm mousing over this. But in Chrome, the pixelated one, this is the one that changes. So if you look around the clouds, here and here, if you look along the tree line, you can see all the artifacts coming in. So I mouse off, I mouse over, you can see that there is a difference in how the image looks depending on which one of the modes is being used. In Firefox, it's just the reverse. So we've got, let's refresh this, we've got the regular one, and then it's this one right here. This is the one that's got the pixelated, and this one doesn't change at all. So it's a little harder to see in Firefox, I don't have the page zoomed in as much. but we've got the change happening in this middle one. If you watch along the top of the trees in this middle cloud, depending on the resolution on whatever screen you're watching this, you may or may not see the effect. So, in the CSS, pretty simple thing. It's just adding an image rendering property, and we can set it to auto, crisp edges, or pixelated. Now there is for um, old versions of Edge, and IE we had this MS interpolation mode nearest neighbor that's closest to pixelated and there was another one for WebKit early on WebKit optimized contrast which is their way of saying crisp edges so it's just two different ways of having the browser render an image when it gets resized and that's it so if you want a copy of this code it's uh, down in the description and I will also post the link to get to the MDN uh, documentation for this. And as always, thanks for watching.